If you want to know how an eBay seller like me that has had thousands of transactions with 100% feedback sells cards valued at $20 or higher, this is going to be the video for you. Step one, you're going to need a card, and I prefer the ETB sleeves if you're doing Pokemon because they're a little bit thicker, but a penny sleeve will do just fine. Up next, you want to use a top loader, so we're going to add our card to our top loader. Make sure it's all the way to the bottom. Then you want to grab a team bag. I love the Vault X Exact Fit slab sleeves. I like to put the card in facing one direction, and my business card on the other. Get it all the way to the bottom, peel the label, fold that over so that there's no movement inside that bag. This will ensure that the card will remain entirely in the plastic protection throughout shipment. Do not use tape. Get a team bag. Next step, you want to cut out some cardboard. You want your cardboard to be just a little bit larger than the card. So now we've got it sandwiched in there. Once again, do not use tape. There's a better, easier way. Rubber bands. That card is fully protected. It's going to be very easy for your buyer to get into that card once they receive it. Again, since we're talking about a more expensive card, I like to use cardboard boxes. So find a cardboard box that fits this. I love reduce, reuse, recycle. So not only are we reusing our box, I love to reuse plastic bags that I get from Walmart. That's just going to take up space inside of that package and ensure that the card does not move around during shipment. I typically like to sandwich it between two Walmart bags, just like that. Close up the box, print out a label, and you're going to be able to send this with four ounce rate, first class USPS. It's only going to cost you four to five dollars at most. I post all kinds of content here on YouTube, and of course I'm on eBay as well. Check me out. Appreciate you guys.